Hey guys, so this is the beginning of my Get Ready With Me Vegas vlog. Um, it is about one week till I leave for Vegas. Um, it's Thursday and I leave next Friday, early a.m. So I'm actually getting ready to do a makeup appointment, a makeup lesson. But I want to take a second to do like an intro to the vlog before I forget because I tend to forget. But I'm right after this, I'm going to go get my hair done by my longtime hairstylist in front of Adriana. So, um, I just haven't been wearing my hair in a ponytail lately. My hair is so long, heavy. I'm going to get um, my highlights refresh, get a trim, some layers, so that way when I do curl my hair, it like looks more styled than just long. But my hair is really healthy right now because I haven't been um, bleaching it as, and lightening it like I used to because it's been kind of dark. But it's going to be a transformation, so um, that's kind of the first step in my get ready with me. Um, weight. Um, current weight fitness check-in. I weighed myself today and I am 145.1 pounds and I was my goal was to be under 145 pounds before my 40th birthday. I don't know it's an arbitrary goal but um, I've been kind of hovering around the 150s for like the last couple of years um, and then I got up to 155 like two months ago because I was just like not really tracking and eating so I lost pretty much like two, 10 pounds in the last two months which is pretty good for me especially because like once you kind of like you've lost the most of the weight that last 10 pounds is so hard so I'm really proud of myself I'm gonna keep eating healthy until next week um, when in Vegas is all we'll do, we're doing it buffets dinners drinking everything so yeah um, I'm gonna get ready for this appointment and I'll take with you to do hair um, so it's gonna be like hair I'm definitely gonna do my nails also before Vegas show you the outfits like my pack with me so that's what this video is gonna be so i hope you guys like it stay tuned all right y'all got back to work so i got here on time we, we timed that correctly because i'm teaching my evening class and i wanted to show you my hair so i think it came out really good um she definitely put the front highlights back because they were really, really grown out. Like, probably down there. Um, and she put a couple of other highlights because my hair was like half dark and half light where I had grown out my blonde. So um, she added a few highlights to break it up. I want these curls to be here as long as possible because I want them to last for my birthday dinner on Saturday. And um, yeah, I'm just going to let them hang out. Um, waiting for my class to get here. I just want to show my hair empty studio. I like when there's no people here because I can kind of get some work done. So I'm going to get some work done. Drink a Celsius because I am tired. Uh, it's already been a full day and I still have a full night class to teach. But yeah, I'll see y'all later. Okay guys, so it is Saturday. Um, I am getting ready for my birthday dinner here in Atlanta. Uh, my girlfriends and I are getting together. It's going to be 10 of us going to dinner at seven o'clock, so I have about 45 minutes to get ready. My friend Jamie's picking me up, so I don't have to drive. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm recurling my hair a little bit, and I'm trying out these like little Velcro clips I got from Shein, which are supposed to like have help with volume, which I have a problem with. So I'm gonna do my makeup, let this cool, and then I will um, take them out and brush out the curls. So hopefully it's kind of big, big voluminous. I started my eye makeup, I'm just, I have just a natural crease color and then like I did like a nude right there like a nude half cup crease and the idea is to do rhinestones on my eyes I don't know if that's gonna happen because I've never done it before <laughs> I haven't eaten anything except a protein shake today because I knew I was gonna have this dinner and I'm gonna I'm gonna eat y'all so but I didn't want to go crazy because I'm still you know one week to Vegas so I think I'll probably just do, it's a Jamaican restaurant, I think, so I'm definitely going to probably do oxtail. And then um, I'll try to do like wine and probably like a vegetable on the side, so not too carb heavy, but I'm going to need me some oxtail, y'all. Like if you love that like, oxtail like me, comment below because there's nothing like it. So let's do this makeup. I'm going to do some pink tones, and I bought this new blush from... She in this hot pink color, which is like all the rave. Sorry if the lighting's not great. I just kind of have the phone on um, this little phone stand. 
So I took a Lily Light Concealer and I set it with a nude eyeshadow. And now I'm coming in with a light wash of this pink blush because I want to give baby pink vibes because um, my dress is very floral. It's like really light floral with like a silky material. Um, you'll see what it looks like. I'll get it on video. I'm using also this palette for the first time, this Mario Neutral Mattes palette. So let's go ahead and get this done. I'm going to watch YouTube videos while I get ready because I'm going to enjoy it. Okay. Better lighting and the dress and the shoes. Okay. Thank you. I did not have time to do my nails, so that's gonna have to wait till next week. There's Bella. Bella's gonna be a good girl when I'm gone, right? Sorry, right, waiting on my ride, and we are good to go. I got ready fast. <laughs> Currently in the car, um, me and my brother, Bella, Trey, driving to Florida to drop these kids off for the week. Um, and then I'm flying back tomorrow to fly back to Atlanta because I have to work this week and then flying back on Friday. Sorry, I slammed the door. <laughs> the iPads on, the headphones on so they don't bother us. These are the cutest little headphones. All right, enjoy. Hey y'all, so it is Wednesday. I am back in Atlanta, headed to a nail appointment at Sugarcoat Lennox. My hairstylist recommended this location. Um, oh shoot, that was my turn. Sorry if it's really loud in this car, but I'm borrowing my aunt's truck. It's like a pickup truck, like a really old one, um, because I left my car in Florida with the kids and my brother and flew back up here last night, like late, late. I got delayed twice. Um, when I got back to Atlanta at like 11, all of the trains like on the monorail system in Atlanta, they were all out of service. So I had to walk like 30 minutes just to make it to baggage claim. It was crazy. I'm back in Atlanta, back into my um, regular life except prepping for Vegas still. So I'm gonna get my nails and I'm thinking hot pink, some rhinestones, cause I've never had rhinestones on my nails, I don't think, not really. Maybe like one little one on my toe when they used to do like toe flowers. And then I'm gonna get probably coordinating pink, like a hot pink on my toes, cause I wanna match like all the hot pink I'm wearing on this trip. And then, um, yeah, get my nails and then I'm meeting my aunt and my sister for lunch. So take you with me. Okay, checking in. It is pouring rain. I'm headed to lunch, running late. I got sidetracked at Sephora at Linux Mall. So I've been wanting to get a new foundation and like complexion um, for my aging 40 year olds again and I, I ended up going there and getting my birthday gift from Sephora as well as a couple of minis that are good for like travel that I've been wanting to try like I got some Charlotte Tilbury I got some Laura Mercier I got some Armani so I'm excited about that I didn't spend as much as I thought because I ended up buying all minis of everything including the foundation because I don't run through makeup like that I have a lot and I just wanted to try something new so I'm headed to lunch, and then when I get home, at some point, I'll do the Sephora haul. This is a good vlog. i got some cool things happening. So, I will check in with you guys later. Hey, guys. So, I am back home. It is 11.07 p.m. I had a full day. Um, went to lunch with my sister-in-law and my aunt. Then I went to work and taught my evening class. And then I got home probably around close to 10 o'clock kind of had a little bit of I sat down for a little bit ate talked to my aunt on my on the phone again and then I promised you guys I would do a quick Sephora haul so my plan is um I'm kid free tonight the kids aren't here um again 
there are still in Florida. So I'm going to do this quick haul and then I'm going to try on some of these new clothes I got in the mail and then get a good about a packing done tonight. So that way tomorrow I can just kind of like finish up because tomorrow I have another full day. Tomorrow is Wednesday, no Thursday. And I have a makeup lesson and shopper session at 10 a.m. to probably like 12.30. And then I need to come home and I'll do my work. I'll try to do my workout when I get home. Usually I do in the morning, but it's going to be too early for me to work out and get makeup ready and do my makeup lesson. So I'll come home and then I'll have to try to between like in a two hour gap, get my workout done, get ready for class, which means putting on makeup hair and outfit because it's our graduation day at, at IMA and I always dress up for that because we take pictures and then I have to teach class at 4 30 to probably like 8 30 and then that's an early night for us because we put the last day of class is always early which kind of works out because then I can come home and then fi finish packing and it won't be too late because um my flight is Friday morning at 7 53 a.m so I have to get it done Thursday night before I go to bed so that way I'm not there's no way I'm gonna wake up early and pack because I'll probably have to be at the airport by like six something in the morning yeah so I kept him trying to tell Adrian you need to pack today you need to pack I don't know if he did he probably didn't because he's a last minute packer unlike me but anyways I digress <laughs> here is my Sephora haul so I'm going to show you really quickly what I got. I, I wanted to originally go in for concealer and foundation, and I added a whole bunch of other stuff. But this is kind of like my birthday present to myself. So I'll show you really quickly. I got the Charlotte Tur Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's a mini. Everything is a mini because I thought this would be great to bring with me to travel. I've heard great things about this setting spray. I have a million setting sprays. I do. But I've never tried this one, and I wanted one that, that will really withstand the Vegas heat. Um, the Sephora gift, the birthday gift, um, it was a, a choice between a couple different things and I picked the glow recipe and it looks like this is, I can't even see, it looks like some kind of serum. It's so, the writing is so small. Let me just open it really quick. It's a two pack. I'm going to bring this up to the light. Oh, niacinamide dew drops. Um, and niacinamide is, is great for evening skin. And the other one is, I have to bring it up to the light because I'm using like a ring light. I mean, a, a tripod with a light. This is the Watermelon Glow BHA Toner, Pore Tight Toner. Okay, so these are both things I would use, like an exfoliating chemical toner and then a um, niacinamide dew drops type of serum. Um, yeah, so I got these two travel size, which is perfect. I'll bring these with me. I've never tried Glow Recipe before, but I've heard a lot of people use it. These are all things I've always wanted to try. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer, a little one. Um, I've heard good things about this as well, and I really, I'm a big cream moisturizer fan. Um, I like to really hydrate. So, um, let's see what this is like. I'm curious. I already put my night, my night hydration on, but kind of has a perfume scent, which I don't like, but let's see. It is really smooth. It's got a little bit of an oily texture, like, but that gives it slip. But this is perfect for travel once again, and it's got a beautiful... A beautiful packaging, which Charlotte Tilbury is known for. I wanted to try the little one to see if I wanted to introduce the big one to my personal collection or my kit. It seems nice. Like, I like how it has a lot of slip to it, and it feels very hydrating. Okay, so there's that. I also got, and these are most of these things I picked up, like, in the aisle right before checkout, which is, like, so dangerous. Okay, this is what I really wanted to get with a new foundation, and I went to an oldie but goodie, which is a luminous silk from Armani um, and I wore this to my wedding but I wore the wrong shade I wore shade number six and I remember thinking at the time it was a little bit too cool beigey um, but I, th I either back then they they didn't have enough shades or they expanded the shade range now because I feel like there's way more shades now so I got shade 7.5 and I bought the mini size because I was like, you know, I don't need a full size because to be quite honest, I don't wear full foundation every day. It's usually a tinted moisturizer 
with like concealer and I have a bunch of that already so here we go I wanted something that was going to look really gorgeous um and make my skin look super healthy and dewy and not 40. <laughs> um, and it's funny because every time I tell people I'm 40, they're like, oh, you don't look it. And I'm like, is 40 really that old? Like 40 is so old. I take, I mean, I'll take the compliment, but okay. 40 is a new 20, right? Okay, I've been wanting this product for a long time. I finally got, there's only one left in the shade. This is a Rare Beauty um, Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush in Joy, which is like an orangey color, which is like my go-to for blush. Um, and then I spotted this little D Natasha Denona mini palette, and I do have one Natasha Denona palette, which I love, and it's like, um, a five pan like this, but it, the top is broken off, and, um, and it's like a larger version, so I was like, this is perfect for travel, and I love all of these shades, so do you see, we got like the warm browns, this will be really good for, um, my color palette, where I'm wearing a lot of pinks. So I definitely am going to bring this with me. I'm going to, I'm going to take out the other one that um, I was going to bring. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Crystal Elixir Magic Serum. Because I was like, you know what? We're just going to go all the way. Moisturizer and serum. And I'm a big serum wearer. And I am running out of my current serum. So it's a little one. Let's just see what it feels like. I am... I love little travel sizes of everything. I don't like the scent. It's not too strong, but I just don't like perfumey scents. So like, I'm just going to be honest. Oh, this is really nice and hydrating. Yeah, immediately it sinks in. Ooh, that's nice. Love it. Okay, it's very... I'm currently using one from Pop Beauty, which is just okay. It was sent to me. And then I have a couple from Paula's Choice, which I do like. But they're not as hydrating. They're more kind of like... Um, treatments, you know, so, and then I finally got the, um, Laura Mercier Translucent Ultra Blur Powder. I have, a, like, so many of the original translucents because they've sent them to me in PR, but I've not tried the Ultra Blur, and I want to try using this under my eyes to kind of help with, like, fine lines, and I got the mini, and I got the regular translucent. I wanted to get the honey, but they didn't have the small one in honey, so one of my students had had this in class and I tried it and it was really nice. So I'm going to test this out. I think I'm going to wear this makeup tomorrow um, and to kind of give it a go before I pack it and make sure I love everything because you know you can return things to Sephora. And then I was totally debating with concealers. I almost went a different direction. I almost bought the Hourglass um, concealer because I've swatched it before and I've got it for clients and it seems really creamy and nice. I know Jaclyn Hill says she like loves that one. Then I was like, I saw the Darja Armani um, had the concealer version of this and it was super creamy and that's what I'm looking for is something super creamy and hydrating because if it's like too thick and too full coverage, it kind of like shows a lot under your eyes. So I had the um, Darja Armani one in my, in my, um, my little bag but then I was like let me ask the Sephora uh, associates because they know the product here like that they're experts at it and I'm gonna be honest they were not that helpful and I think it's because I'm a makeup artist maybe and I I already know a lot but they didn't really give me a lot of help they were just kind of reaff reaffirming what I liked but one of them did say she liked to pair the um the Giorgio Armani concealer for the creaminess and then she adds the Pat McGrath on top to kind of give like a little bit more coverage and, and pigment which makes sense and I have a new It Cosmetics under eye concealer which is also very creamy um, but it doesn't cover enough and it's not bright enough so I usually pair it with another one so I didn't get the Armani one I'm going to use my It Cosmetics one and pair it with the Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Concealer from Pat McGrath and I went with shade, let's see, and the, the, the associate helped me, LM9. So it's a brighter shade in my skin tone because I wanted a highlighting shade. And it seems like it has nice coverage. And I did just throw out a couple of concealers because they were getting old. So there is it right there. This is actually seems very nice, actually. Like, I like the coverage. It kind of reminds me of the Hourglass one. So when I've always wanted to try Pat McGrath, I like have no products from her. So yeah, so that's my mini little Sephora haul. 
Um, well, I'll wear it tomorrow and I'll show you guys what it looks like because I'll bring you along with me tomorrow on the vlog. And now really quickly, I'm going to show you my um, last and final Shein haul for the Vegas trip. I actually will plan, I'm going to plan on um, doing another Shein haul right before Belle and Trey's birthday because they sell a whole bunch of party supplies for kids on there for really cheap. And I was like, wow, they sell everything, not just clothes. So I will place another order back um, probably close in August. And then I might throw a little, a little something for me. I might get more kids' clothes too, but I don't have anything big for the rest of this year that I need to shop for clothing. Okay, so this is the last Shein haul. And I have options. I'm not keeping all this stuff, but I wanted options. So I'm going to just show really, really quick because there are, are quite a few things in here. Um, I got a pair of sneakers. Because the other ones were a little bit too small. These ones are kind of like the lightweight slip-on one. Um, and then I got a bathing suit cover-up. And I, it's like a, a mesh leopard print dress almost. And I like how it has more coverage than some of the other bathing suits I got. Because the other bathing suits from my last haul, they were just way too skimpy on the bottom. And they were showing my mom pouch. And I thought, I'll just get this cover up and pair it with high-waisted black bombs that I already have. And I'm liking, I'm liking the little vibe here. So it's got like a leopard print and it's like a cutout in the middle. And you, it's matched so you'll wear your bathing suit under. So I got that. I'm definitely going to have to try all this stuff on. I ain't got time in the video for that. Oh, and here are my nails. Do you see them? From my manicure earlier and I got this color on my toes. I love them. I think they're just the perfect length for me. I actually purposefully cut my nails a little bit. I've been growing them, but I cut them a little bit yesterday because I didn't want them to stay long because they were already at, at the top of the length I wanted them to be. And I want this to grow out slightly and not be like breaking. So I got the almond shape and they're like just long enough for me. And I love the rhinestones. I never have done rhinestones before like this. And I told them I wanted a mix of like French tips in the, this color with the solid. And then I wanted rhinestones. So I think they're just enough. I think I probably could have gotten a little bit more bling. But she was being subtle and cute with it. So yeah. Okay. I bought this black bikini top. I wanted something with pads, like cups, because I needed like more boobs. So I thought I could wear this with that leopard print dress. So I bought actually, and it's kind of nice to be able to just buy tops and bottom separately because I'm definitely way smaller on the top than I am on my bottom. Like I'll definitely go like medium on top um, and then large on bottom just for more coverage. I got this little necklace. It's one of those that's like a little chain that goes through here that I thought would be cute with some of the dresses. And then I bought a thousand black rubber bands for like under a dollar. These look kind of like really thin. I bought these for the kids' hair. I don't know if that's going to hold up. And then this is a random little thing you clip on your bag. And then you can put your water bottle spout through there. And it will hold it and the clip to your bag. Like you kind of put it around the top of the water bottle and then re-screw it. So I thought that would be handy to have in my bag to carry water around in Vegas. This is, oh, okay. This is the a bra that I bought with sticky sides. Uh, this part is kind of different like it's so it's like so much wire there so I guess it gives you a gap I don't know if it helps push it in but I went with a little small cup the smallest size because I definitely think I'm an A cup now I used to be a B cup before kids and then during kids I think I went from like C-ish and now I'm down to A because I'm like no more breastfeeding and my boobs are so deflated this I believe is a swimsuit set so this one's of one piece and I was and I sized down to a small because review said to so I thought I was like okay it's a little bit more coverage there and it comes with a white skirt that goes over so I thought this would be really chic um, I'm only gonna wear probably one or two bathing suits in Vegas probably def definitely one for a pool party and maybe a backup if I do a pool hang out on the pool for a little bit so I don't need all these swimsuits I just want options but I do will say that I am going to Florida next week after Vegas. 
And I'm, after the week after that, we're going to Virginia. So there are a couple of beach opportunities there. Okay, I got this shirt. I thought it was cute. It says, I set my own beauty standard. It's a little white crop. I thought that this would be cute with one of the black um, little romper things I had. And this is very, like, on brand with my makeup. So I thought that would be cute. I'm not going to wear it by itself. I'm going to wear it, like, under, like, a jumpsuit thing that I had from the last haul. This looks like another white bikini. The reason why I bought a bunch of white bikinis is because I have another, um another what's it called cover-up that's like a cream color that I was trying to match with it so this one's got two little pearls I have one that's like this in the last haul but it was cream colored and this one is high-waisted which I've been wanting it's a little cheeky um higher waisted and it doesn't have a bow because the other one had a bow and it didn't look right under the bathing suit cover-up I had because it was bulky so, like I said, I wanted options, and I'm not going to keep all of these. This is, oh, I bought this for Bella. Look at it. A little sweater. So, she, her school next year, she can only, it's uniform, and she's only supposed to wear, like, cream, khaki, or um, forest green clothes. So this was like one of the allowable sweater colors that she can put on top of her uniform. And it was a pretty good deal. I didn't realize it had this gold thread right there. But um, that's for Bella. And I bought a pair of high-waisted paper bag shorts. I've been wanting these for a while. And one of the days I have a birthday shirt that I had made for my crew. So mine is says celebrating my 40th birthday and my... My friends all have one that says Ren's 40th birthday squad. So I needed something casual to wear with it. So I got some jean shorts. I sized up on these purposefully because I didn't want them to be tight. I wanted them to be comfortable. And they seem really stretchy. So hopefully they fit. And it's good to have just jean shorts to wear with something, you know. Um, whether it be like your bathing suit, a t-shirt, throw it on with it like a tank top. And then I bought this dress. I've been eyeing it for months, and I finally, like, decided to try it because after the last haul, I didn't love my birthday dress option. But now I don't know if I have anywhere to wear this because it's kind of fancy. So it's kind of, like, got a halter top, and it's got the middle cut out. And it's long and flowy. And this color is more pink. I thought it was going to be more kind of peachy nude. So I don't really know if this was worth getting. I might go back. I'll try it on though and see if I like it. But I really don't think I have anywhere to wear this because I thought we were going to do a fancy dinner, but I don't think we are. So we'll see about that. This is another swim. This looks like, yep, I got high-waisted black bottoms. See, this is what I'm talking about right here tummy coverage and it's got the ruching too so that will definitely hide the mommy pouch and I could pair it with either a white top um, or a black top I could mix and match or wear the black to all together so, so these were all separate which is good because you can kind of pick your right size and then this is another white bikini this is a plain one Okay, what is going on here? Oh, this is extremely high cut on the legs. I don't really like that look. It looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It looks kind of like a jock strap. But I do like the white, a plain white bikini top. I don't know about this one, though. Like, high waist, it does not look good on me. Because I have, like, by my hips, like, little panels of flat there that doesn't look right. I need coverage there. Okay. And then, oh, I got, like, a whole bunch of black bobby pins that were, like, a dollar, too, because I needed some more bobby pins. And then this, these are a pack of gold bracelet chains that were really cheap that I think could go with a lot of outfits. And then this is the last thing. What is this? Like, what is this? Oh, I got a black, like, long line sports bra. I got this in white in the last haul, and I liked it, and I can't. You know, these are so handy to have to work out in, 
to wear under stuff so I was like I might be able to wear this black one with a zebra print short set that I had um bought as well so I that's why I got it okay so that's a Shein haul I'm going to get some packing done try these clothes on and I hope to be in bed what time is it by like one at the latest because I need to wake up early I have a 10 o'clock appointment so if I'm in bed by one I can still get a good decent night rest I might actually take I think I might take some like melatonin or something to make sure I go to sleep because I'm allowing me sleeping all right I'll do it later okay guys so it is 12 46 a.m technically Friday I will leave um in probably seven hours to go on my flight to Vegas so I'm finishing up my packing I have everything in this big huge this one this huge suitcase and I tried to use my handheld luggage scale, but I think it's close to 50 pounds. Like a, it was so heavy, I couldn't really lift it. So I think what I'm gonna do, my husband packed in a smaller roller. I'm gonna move his smaller one into this medium one so I can put some of my heavier stuff in his to kind of distribute the weight. Cause his felt light, like probably like 25, 30 pounds. So we can take about 10 of my pounds and then it won't be so tight. So after that, I'm going to relace my sneakers, my airport sneakers, and then I'm going to try to lay down for a couple hours. I don't know if I'm gonna actually going to sleep, but I made progress tonight. I washed my hair, curled it just so that way it would kind of last a little bit longer. Um, and then I packed a lot of every, pretty much everything up. I got like work done to kind of carry me through the next week without having to worry about it. So yeah, let me finish packing.